Um, oh, cool. You know, it's go time now, you know, but it's kind of been go time for us for for a few for a few months, you know, as we try to um, earn our way uh, uh, into uh, seating for the Big Ten tournament, as we try to earn our way into postseason play. Um, you know, you hope this is the time of year that your team starts trending in the right direction. Um, and so, you know, we're just going to try to stay the course and uh, gear ourselves up for a, a tough match against Illinois on Thursday. Hey, Sadi, a couple of questions for you. Um, you guys have won six of eight, I guess. Just what do you think has kind of fueled this, this late season push you guys are making? You know, I think our guys are just, you know, having a very clear understanding of how important it is to uh, just live in the details. Um, you know, earlier in the year, we were losing a lot of these tough games by, you know, close margins. And whether it was youth, whether it was experience, whether it was talent, you, you know, what whatever the, the, the denominators are that were contributing to us not finishing games, now it appears that, um, you know, we've learned uh, from our past failures. And, and, you know, failures is a big part of learning how to be successful, right? And um, now I think that we're in a better position to um, finish out some of these games uh, as we move forward because they don't get any easier. And, you know, in, in a couple of weeks from now, or actually in a week from now, um, the records won't matter. Now it's just who's playing the best at the right time of the year. And so that's what really Mark, uh, that's what, that's what really uh, March is all about. Right. And you mentioned the teams now doing a better job of finishing like these last three games. Just How much do you feel like this team now or these last three games has kind of been making those little plays, those little things that kind of make a big difference uh, down the stretch late in games? I think it's been huge, um, you know, whether it's a guy being in the right defensive position, uh, whether it's setting the proper screen, uh, whether it's boxing out and not giving up a, a critical offensive rebound. Um, you never know which one of the, you know, 70 something possessions uh, that you have during the course of a game is going to impact the end result. And um um, you know, I think our guys have done a better job uh, here in the last couple of weeks of of really just being dialed into that. Saudi, hey, uh, you know, you guys are, are 11 and seven in the Big Ten, just a couple of games out of first and, you know, on the so-called <laughs> NCAA tournament bubble. I mean, I guess, is there any lingering frustration over over some of those games? You know, you, you mentioned that we're close losses. What could have been or? Or no, I mean, I guess I suppose everybody could do that at this point, right? But what good would it do us? It wouldn't do us any good. And um, you know, we have to worry about Thursday. We have to worry about trying to get a really good road win against a really tough Illinois opponent. And if we can do that, then things continue to uh, uh, move forward from us. And you know, it, you, you, you really want to be in a position to where as much as you can um, dictate your fate and, and um, you know, improve or, or um, you know, dictate your fate. You know, that's where you want to be. You don't want things to have to happen to you um, as a result of other people's wins or losses. Sure. And then... Uh... What is what is Jets' status for tomorrow's game? I, that's a good question. I, I think it's TBD. Uh, you know, he's been progressing. Uh, I know he's been working really hard to um, uh, through his rehab to get back. Um, you know, he's had a great attitude throughout in his support of his brothers in his absence. And, um, you know, if and whenever he comes back, uh, we're going to be happy to have him. Thanks, Sadi. I, I imagine the, the basketball world is a small one, but as you're preparing for Illinois, what's it like to be prepping and watching Terrence Shannon, a guy I'm sure you built a relationship with this past offseason? 
he's had a great year. You know, he's had a great year and um, he's had a good impact in that program. Uh, he's such a competitor. And, um, you know, I, I think it's going to be a, a, a great challenge, you know, but one that our guys are excited for. Um, and so, you know, as we get ready for tomorrow, we try to put the, the final pieces on, you know, what we're going to do to to stop these guys and how we're going to attack them from an offensive standpoint, uh, I think is going to make for a good game because both teams are in a situation where, you know, there's a lot still to be playing for. And um, I don't think anybody wants to blink first. Saudi, it feels like these last couple of games, Doug has kind of uh, become more aggressive scoring the ball, I guess. Have, have you noticed a change at all? You know, I just, I just think that's the natural maturation, you know, of of his role and, you know, how, how he got there and, you know, his comfort level of making plays on both sides of the ball. Um, you know, whether he's scoring the ball or whether he's, you know, chasing guys off pin downs or ball hawking them in the full court. Um, I think it's been a really uh, positive evolution uh, of his game over the course of the season. Hey, Sadi, I wonder when it's when it's this point in the season uh, and you got you're about to see Illinois for, for the first time yet there's. 18 games of Big Ten tape uh, on on film for each side. Do you guys feel like familiar with them or not, or what 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 is uh, sort of sort of scouting them uh, look, look like at this point, and what 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 do they do well? Yeah, I mean, you know, <clears throat> during the course of the year, you kind of catch blinks of of teams uh, throughout the season, uh, but it's not until you really get dialed in closer to when you're going to play them uh, to when you really start. Zeroing in, zeroing in on, you know, all the, 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 uh, and, and crafting the game plan. So, you know, typically, you know, you'll watch anywhere from four to five games um, to try to, you know, do the best you can to, to pick up tendencies and actions and, and details that might help be favorable, either that, you know, another team was successful with or something that we do. Uh, during with our principles and habits that will you know work well or things that we might need to adjust in so you know that's that's the joy and that's the fun of coaching trying to put together and craft a game plan that you think if executed properly will will give you a positive result and, and what have you seen from them who stands out shoot their whole team man like they're a team that they can get up and down the floor with the best of them uh, they can finish out the rim. They got shooters all over the floor. Uh, they got interior play. Uh, they defend like no other. So, you know, when you look at them, they're, they're a pretty complete bunch. And, um, you know, we're going to have to play well in Champaign to get it done. Hey, Sadie, I kind of have a, a two-part question here. Um, just how do you think Will has fared in his four starts? And then with Terrence moving to the bench, just how has he, how has he handled kind of moving into a reserve role? I think both, both guys have handled it fairly well. You know, for Will, he's a kid that brings energy, his voice, um, his activity uh, to that starting group. And, um, you know, for him, you know, having kind of role, role reversal as such uh, in these last couple of weeks, um, you know, I think it has benefited our team. Uh, I think T. Will has done a tremendous job of, of bringing his veteran leadership uh, off the bench and giving us some very quality minutes uh, in his production uh, since he's come back from his injury. And so, um, you know, at the end of the day, man, uh, it's about um, being selfless to the team and, and doing what it takes to to um, impact winning. And I think both of those kids have done a tremendous job in doing that. You're muted, Tom. Does anybody have anything else for coach? <laughs> All right, Saudi, that'll do it.